Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. Just, wow, things popped on my screen. Just sitting here looking out over all that 14 years of pretty constant progress has created. 14? Yep. A lot of town there, a lot of buildings, a lot more to go. <laughs> so thanks folks for all of the uh, positive comments about uh, me getting better. Appreciate it. I'm starting to feel better, though I'm kind of sounding plugged up right now. But it's kind of a, a slow process recovering from something like that. I've had it once before, and it's very different from the flu or a cold. You just feel it inside. It's It, it doesn't feel natural. It's a weird experience. Anyway, um, what to do this time? Just kind of sitting here staring at this while I was starting or waiting to start recording I'm thinking because I do want to get past the the 200 mark eventually but we're kind of stagnated here waiting for births because there's no more houses going in we could put another row of houses through here and then these few industry buildings at this point it would be a good base to feed whatever industry is going to hit out here Though we already have a pretty good base to do that with as it is. Same thing over here. We could put, say, another row of houses at this point. But that's risking being just that much too far away from reaching that market or that market. That's why I was staring at just how big we have grown. We have, we have distance issues now. So hopefully as the game continues to grow there is something in the sense of a relay system that is developed for those distances unless there's something that i'm just not getting these markets right here <clears throat> we're using as our central market to feed that market uh, central storage granary storage to feed that market and this market if i were to say put houses over here to start feeding whatever's going to start happening this way they're, I'm pretty sure they're not going to be able to reach any of the markets. In fact, I can guarantee that right there. Uh, warning, no market stalls nearby. So I can't put houses any closer than... Wow. We just made that. Yeah. <laughs> So, we hit the very outskirts. These guys can still reach a market. They've got a good variety. They've got a good variety. But, so we're going to have to come up with a whole new market system out here for whatever houses we start putting out here. I don't think they can reach this. We could maybe relocate this one more time. Maybe that's what this little area has been waiting for. Though I don't think anything will build on that hillside seems like we've tried that before so oh we can we can get at least two of these in places occupied but i don't think i can get this guy in no so he'll have to do well i guess i can't really tell uh chapel's done good so we could make empty and delete this just so we can experiment with that again but I would need these guys in a place that these can still reach. And I'm pretty sure that's close enough. And these will definitely reach it. <clears throat> but from there, another market somewhere can reach. Whether that's in here still, could be. Which would then f reach houses out over here. And that market would reach there. Or we could do another market somewhere over here, which should reach... And then at more houses in this area. I'm not sure. But once we finally leave this area, assuming we, we ever get that far, how do you then supply anything out over here? And still supply it over there. Unless we then start to recreate everything over here and have a redundant system. There's our traders coming in. Because we're going to, you know, another farm system, another, you know, cows, milk, um, chickens, eggs, and all of these houses, yards, 
being dumped into a whole new central market over here and the two systems don't communicate with each other which then means what another set of traders to bring Salo over there and then over here or do we just manually tell the carts to grab a load of something and bring it over here once in a while so I'm trying to figure out the logistics of a town of a map that is one big town instead of maybe setting up several individual towns I'm kind of curious about doing something like that do we set up do we call this a community and then be done with it and then set up more of a city over here but how do you get the city going that doesn't have this foundation already in place huh so just trying to think long term how do you make something like this function we've now got a great foundation for something but everything over here is going to be out of reach of that foundation so yeah trying to work my way through this I've been asked uh, several times now to start putting in these houses that don't have any uh, yards because I can get a whole bunch more of these in you know we can get a bunch of them through here if we wanted to but the number of houses that we've got all with yards in June July August September October so we're still several months away from all these gardens harvesting we are at that left in regard to food variety to sell to our peoples in our markets from last year's crops we're getting low we have 32 peas left <laughs> we have 78 garlic left and 69 onions left and that's it minus of course the things that we're constantly making like eggs and what have you but already we're probably beyond that balance point of having the variety that we need for this many people to dump a bunch more houses in without yards pretty much guarantees this goes away and we end up with you know July August September with little pop-ups all over the place out of food variety and then people start moving out so I can't put houses in without yards <clears throat> if I was going to do something like that it would be houses with little tiny yards just to get a crop in of some kind um, F1 but where to I guess I could make it even here Oh, it's not doesn't necessarily need to be let's let's come out over here and drop you in so I would say space alongside the bridge left over and So that and then smaller and smaller and smaller till we're just... Well, we did that over here, didn't we? Got into some of these places that were here. Rather than just dropping a house in, we at least got one crop in for each one. So they had at least something to sell. And added a little more variety to the system. So I'm hesitant to do any individual houses at this point. I don't even know how we're going to support the row houses yet. Unless we offset this by putting a bunch of great big yards in just to fulfill the need, but it, it just feels so unrealistic to me. These great big yards. I mean, I don't know. Pictures that I've seen of this time were of these really thin little little uh, so, well, let me pick a different place to do it. I don't remember what the name was for these plots. Uh, someone wrote to me, boy, 20 episodes ago. And so that, re that reminds me of Burgess plot or something like that. Burgess plot. That just popped into my mind. But they were like F1 skinny little things. Things that this game will not uh, let me accurately do. Because it requires pathways. But they were thin little things like this you know the size of a house 
and there would be a, a business at the street level right in front and then there were gardens in the back and just rows and rows of these things 20 wide street another 20 of them big blocks of these things and they would then have another little building over here maybe they 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 would live back here the business would be right there they would garden in between and and you know sustain themselves that way but this game you know requires at least a pathway alongside and I've got to be at least back to here. I can't quite duplicate those, but, you know, this was an idea. In fact, I kind of like the idea. Maybe a bunch of these in a row somewhere. We could try something like that through here, maybe. I'm not sure. Who was that? That was Marefa. So, yeah, just kind of thinking long term about everything. Um, let's go see what Marefa's up to. You actually did get done so delete you I think this is going to be necessary unfortunately we just set this up but I think the central market is going to have to be even further away if we're going to get a third market somewhere and I think that market is going to have to be this side of the bridge oh look at the pathway through there and realize just uh, how much they've worn worn through there nice uh, right here Marifa you how are we doing there's no existing trades still going on now uh, let me let me practice this one here first i had was it alex i think wrote in and tried his best to help me with this one panutine 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 something like that anyway marifa you are what selling Hemp wheat offering, yeah. Uh, well, we're, we're way behind. They're, they're building faster than I can finish my intro. Honey, textile, broadcloth. I'm not seeing anything that we truly need. We got 2,500 wheat last time, so no. I wish I could buy sunflower and some other things. Um, <clears throat> selling oils, no. Buckwheat, flour. Could do some more flour. For all that wheat that we just just paid for yeah we could do that 500 flour sell uh i got it right i'm not buying it right yeah demands okay deal and we're at 4300 okay let's pop that in before i forget you're this one flour 500 and what do i want here that button okay anything else that we can afford to sell you sallow chicken eggs horseshoes there usually isn't the back end of the the, the last half of the demands list on almost every city i just glaze over every, oh and then i miss something like salt okay salt we can do so 32 44 we have 61 deal 32 44 salt 32, 44, and temporary. Good. I think we're good. Okay. Um, so that's happening. Uh, let's take a look at chapels. So you built. Yeah, I got the door in the right place, too. <laughs> um, got a, uh, a comment that came in suggesting we maybe play with more like a park setting with a gazebo out here instead of trying to duplicate what we did here a little cemetery and i, I kind of like that idea so kind of entering this area here school chapel park public area public market and then the housing public well and then a different well just sitting out over here for whatever happens at this end and this end eventually could be another continuation of these houses at least at least one in each end, or one, and then two, and then three might work. So the well's in place for that. And having the ashery over here, well, I don't know how much smoke that's going to make. And it isn't on the list of things that actually cause problems, but it might look odd. I'm not sure. So the chapel is not employed. Um... 
nothing real important there, but it gives them better access. So they will stop to get firewood, they will stop to rest, they will stop to visit a chapel. Now they don't have to walk from here all the way up to there to do it. And how's our little chapel in the woods coming? Hey, that looks good. So hopefully we'll see a pathway to that door soon as they start to use it. Okay, so that's in place. We saw a well go in. That was over here? Yeah, that one's in. Okay, which should start blocking this a little bit. I did go through after last episode in some places, I guess not out here, and popped in little fences all over the place because they were still insisting on... Come on on practically clipping all the corners and walking through the trees walking through the the trees and the park benches so they would just they would never walk out here where they're supposed to so i ended up putting these little stubs out every joint to force the the pathway to form out beyond all of this so when it, it takes i'm thinking about a year to get these pathways to regrow. I mean, we still have the old pathways through the chicken coop, which they're not traveling anymore, and they haven't been traveling for you know, an episode and a half. So it does take a while for the turf to regrow. So we should eventually see these roads start to drift outward or thin down or something and start looking a little more realistic. But I did that kind of throughout the place. I get them in there too. A lot of shadows. I can't tell if there's one there or not. No, I didn't do this this route here. But I did other places like here. Ah, uh, the fields. Yeah, I did these. Right there. So we should see the paths start to, to alter a little bit over time. And these crops came out looking nice and dense this time. They look good. Yeah, we've got, we've got some good soil going on. Cows are definitely helping. <laughs> Over here, good crop of sunflower coming in. And you are buckwheat. Growth at halfway. This is the last field to get done. First field to get done this year was this one. We're up there. Yeah, I think it's that one. Yeah. So, we're still not going to get... Well, June, July, August, we'll see. We may get out to about here. Don't know what it takes to get a full growth. Don't know if that's even possible. Now that I think about it, do you guys sell sheep? You do not. It's probably time to get this going. Let's throw a worker in there. And no seasonal. You will be there all the time. One's enough. One's enough for now. And maybe later as we get to working with wool shearing and what have you i assume that more is better in that case um foods fine water let's up this or actually you well let's let you get to work see what you do you can start filling in the rest of these yep supplying water and grabbing it from there oh that's convenient that's really convenient yeah uh you are looking for 500 hay and 1,000 water. And we have the 500 hay already. And that's right there. Almost 7,000 of it in place. So yeah, you're ready to go. You will use fallow field if available. Uh, hay reserve of one month. Water reserve of less than a month. 300. Oh, you... What'd you do? Mowing grass for hay. Look at that. Two of you. We got grass mowers. Okay. And this I would normally say would be ladies. Let's do that. We won't fire them, but as they transition around, we'll fill those in with ladies. But so I have a feeling we've got quite a few more jobs coming for men soon. If not, they make great laborers because they can automatically use carts. Speaking of carts, we were dealing with carts last time, weren't we? What are you? Granary's going in. Okay. 
Uh, the other cart, actually, you're probably all piled at the end here and forgotten about. Yep. So you are down to one tree left. Whoa, this guy's been busy. Good. So in between that, let's throw a cart and a cart in there. This well is out over there. Sure, you'll be a quick little thing. By then, maybe we'll have taken down some more trees. Let's get an ash tree in there, too, and see what that does. Which one are you? You're the close one, okay? And a dairy. It... Now, we, when we get the second cow... Sh well, maybe this is time to get the dairy in. Maybe it is. Because we'll have sheep and cows. We'll have doubled the amount of milk. Uh, small granary is done. Let's take you and slow down a minute and right settings messed this up last episode everything here looks to be correct and apply to all and you are going to grab whatever else is available out here wow we filled it pause how's that possible the only thing different in this one is that we've added buckwheat and yet, we've always had spaces left over. Well, only one space. So what happened here? Grab. Oh, the fruit filled it in. We're into July. Okay. It doesn't last long. But it's enough to... Sure, whatever. So we'll buy from locals as well that way. And then we'll sell it back to them. and It'll be fine. Um trigger all of you somebody working there take from other granaries no okay everything is good there and we'll leave that up just in case once she arrives suddenly sudden something starts to happen there um, we are starting to strip the trees here and here good and over here this one took a while last time to get going Maybe it's a little bit further away from houses. We got someone coming to work now. We're July for two people. They should still get that done in time. Okay. And this time we do have all the fruit in the market. We missed that last year. So fruit is right there. She should start. Let's see here. When does the fruit show up over there? We already have it. It's already being taken away now I don't know if these ladies can get it directly from the orchard let's pause a second are either one doing that right there you are you have one old apple left okay so you cannot get it directly from the market I don't know that the yeah they can okay so the granary ladies need to be here during July and apparently that just happened to work out that way yeah okay good do I add an August in there too just to make sure that everything gets cleaned out of the orchards and available to go into the markets I kind of think that might be a wise move okay so they're going to be there for five months straight. Is there any way to... Yeah, I think that works because honey starts selling in here and the the gardens in the private yard start selling in here or buying. And November, I figure, just for cleaning up anything that got missed. So although it seems like the last few years that I've looked, by the middle of, of October, it was all done. So we'll pull off of November. Okay, apply to all. All right. So I think we're going to be okay there. Uh, buying cherries. Whatever happened over here? The new one. You're in. Nothing got bought. Okay. A lot of choices, but it just... So those trees must have matured, and they must be in some of these houses and have been picked they're right there cherries where's another random right there cherries okay 
And raspberries. Mm. Okay, so that's why it triggered and why it doesn't stay available to trigger very long. You just got to hit it at the right time. Orchards are happening and this one is now being built finally after a lot of episodes. Okay, markets are doing their thing. We have a little triangle here to do something in. I was about to say, what do we do with that triangle? But I'm not sure long term what that means. Long term, this goes away. Maybe half of this yard goes away. So there's kind of a big space available for something later. Real estate's going to start getting real you know, valuable soon. We start redoing and reusing some of these spaces with a lot more thought involved than originally just plunking things down. Um, do we put in more houses here? Do we put in more houses here? I want to put in some more houses. I want to future plan the final <laughs> central granary system. Yeah, this, this system's got to move here. And then start thinking about where the next market goes so the next neighborhood goes there. And maybe that's where some row houses go in. Or that's where the, the if I got the right name, and I'll, I'm sure I'll flash it up on the screen if I got it wrong, but the, well, those plots that I was talking about, the long skinny plots, maybe this is where we would try a neighborhood of those. I don't like that idea. And we give these guys a primary goal again. Start dropping trees big time. How are we doing over here? We are 18 trees and these guys are all just kind of sitting around. Because we're full of firewood too. Um, where are you in your schedule? We are July. We got two months of nobody on. Or one person on just to make firewood. So we're, we're fine with that. Okay. So this is more long term. So I think it's a market over here somewhere, and I think it's a big neighborhood over here somewhere. I'm not sure where and why, but it could be a, I don't know. This It would make more sense if this was more an industrial island and neighborhoods were all around it. That's how I would prefer to do it, but I don't see how to get out here. I can't leapfrog this and still reach this. So that's where I'm kind of struggling right now to figure out where to move to next. What What is the next logical step? Out of curiosity, do you, in fact, go in here? Right there. You do. So I can make this happen. So let's lay this out so that it doesn't go away. Um, I see I've got park benches over there. Um, you, that far out there, it, it looks like it's in the road, but it's not. It's just the way that we're seeing it, but the yellow footprint should be the, the accurate one. If I come in just a little bit more, just to make sure. And do we want a space in the back? We do. We want to line the backs up with the trader, because there is a road back there. Okay. So you are right about like that. What does that leave us for granaries? Let's grab you. And maybe these are redundant then. Could be. Though I would need to move the cart shed if I'm going to do this. Yeah, they'd almost have to be there and there. Yeah, because I want a nice open pathway into here. Okay, you look... Whoa, you look crooked compared to that. All right, so let's let's do redesign this. Okay, first of all, you go away. I just hit my delete button. Didn't work <laughs> on my keyboard. Okay, so you fade. I want you. I'm starting to see this now. You're here, but I'm not going to grab the alignment of the other one. I'm going to grab you. So we line up with this road. Boy, it's hard to tell where I am. 
Yeah, I can't do that. The shingles are really playing with my eyes. Well, how do you do that? This this square should be symmetrical, so I can look at the gap. There it is. Okay. So you're there. Is that building aligned properly? I guess so. Perspective and a and a, on something like this kind of exaggerate, so it's kind of hard to, to follow it. It looks like it's really crooked. Is that perspective, or is it in fact really crooked? I don't know. I'm going to go with perspective. <laughs> okay, the gap between that and the park benches seems okay. And out to the little stub there. I think that's it. Okay, granary's going to be there. So, what do you think? Well, no, these need to be close enough to buy from everyone here, though. Maybe these go away. I mean, sorry, these stay. This goes away. Or maybe it doesn't move at all. It's just that this group over here now buys from everyone. And these can stay, those can stay. I don't know. I'm just, I'm waffling back and forth here because I don't know the rules on the distances. These guys are here. They're grabbing from everything in this area. Maybe even from here, I'm not sure. Be curious to see if these guys are able to sell their stuff. Huh. But, yeah, so whether or not these go away, this would be the new central. Okay. You, I need to get a... What was the last thing that happened? I just heard a noise and... Orchard. Okay, let's go there. Uh, salt is done. Demolition is completed. Demolition completed. Granary. Is that really from over there? I guess so. No, it couldn't be. Whole granary. Visiting. Built the chapels. What is... Oh! I deleted it and put it back in. And I counted it as a, as a demolition. Okay. Um... So when this gets built, then we need to, let's see, let's get you orchard right there, get you hired and planted, and you're going to be apples, and you are going to apply to all. We're still in July. I am playing right. Yeah, I'm just going real slow. Okay. So you're set up enough. Someone's going to get you planted. Okay. Um... Yeah, what was I saying? Oh, when one of these get built, which is going to happen here momentarily, I'll move these carts out. Which one are you? Which one's going in first? You're right here. Good. That's close enough. Let's put these carts into there. Uh, there you are. So you're all going there. We'll get another one popped in here soon, but we do have one right over here, so we're not crippling ourselves. This goes away. Two small granaries go in here, and we'll leave this nice pathway in between, this big wide one, to simulate the road that someday is going to go through here. So, do I block this so they have to go through here? Maybe. A fence that goes from the corner of the orchard out to here and just kind of ends this cross traffic to get a nice road going right through this path. Am I hurting anything by doing that? The fish will go into the granary. Doesn't bother him. Trading will interact with the granary unless we're selling apples, which, well, we'll just go right through the trader to the granary. Yeah. Let's start redirecting that traffic. So you are a three rail fence. You are this kind of fence. We'll do the three rail. And he goes straight across to there, I think. Three rail. Think, think, think. This one? I think so. Right there. Yeah. And you go... Right there. Wish I could have got a little closer. Let's... Let me try that again. Well, let's see what happens here. 
Okay. Well, they're already going to start. If I delete that, will you reroute? You won't. Okay. Let me do that again. It's hard to see it with everything suddenly turning into little boxes. Uh, hold the alt down. That will help. But to get any closer, I have to get into the yellow field. Right here is where I need to be. And unfortunately, I think they're going to... Oh, I did make it. There we go. Okay. So you're going to go there. Looks funny there, but I think it looks natural here. Not that we can see it. There we go. Okay. But that should get our main road coming through here, right through the trader. It's kind of an entrance into the town from that side. Okay. That might be kind of fun. Means we can do something else right here. Warehouses or storage or something like that. Okay. Uh, still in July, how are we doing? Nice and slow, so I can be talking and rambling and doing other things and not lose the opportunity to say, oh man, they're all, they didn't get finished in time, but they did. So they're finished with two people. They may have gotten finished with one. It's possible. Uh, how are you guys doing? Boats are decent. Um, do we have a sense of how much fish have arrived this year from this one fishing dock? I don't think that is such a thing. I know how much fish is produced total throughout the economy. We do have a couple of batches going. We have 47 fish, 100 waiting to be picked up. Over here, 48 and 100. So they're, they're working consistently. And boats are... This one could stand to be dealt with. And... Which boat are you? Right there. Come on, click. Yeah. Let's force repair that one. Get that done. You guys are still employed, right? Yeah, you're employed for July, August... September, October. Okay. Make sure that one gets done. Not wait till the last second. Okay. So, yeah. You're there. You get emptied. You go away. Two more small granaries go in there. I don't know if here is close enough to service those houses. Or to service those houses. I really don't know. So these may not serve as houses. They may just be the central collection point, And they will have the check mark of take from all the other granaries. And then we'll have just satellites of these guys doing all the collecting in each neighborhood. I guess that's the, the relay system I'm looking for. And one more market over here. And that is the end of this community. And then we'll see. Maybe I switch everything to make this the central to get us started over here as the foundation to start building the new foundation and just keep swapping back and forth for a while. Maybe that's a way to, to pull it off. Okay, so cart parking, we're building... Where are you? This one. And I don't know how truly necessary that one was. Really don't. All the materials are here, though. It's going to go pretty fast. Okay. Let's speed things back up again. And... Where do I lay out those couple of houses? Over here means it's long-term. Over here means that it gets done rather quickly, but I don't know if there's any jobs for them. Wow. I guess you just had to think about this and it would be done. <laughs> okay, well, let's pop four of you in. I don't need to uh, move things around anymore. Um, a gazebo down in here. We talked about that. I kind of like the idea. I don't know that I'm ready to say I know exactly what this, what this is supposed to look like. But we can at least explore it a bit here. I'm thinking the square one. We've got the round one up over here. Right there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I wish they would actually use it. That would be nice to see people sitting in there. And yeah, we do see them walk up to the market stalls to make a purchase. 
So that's kind of a a nice detail to see, though you are oh, you're buying food, so we get to actually witness that here. You are actually going to stop at one, or you just walk past? Maybe you already did stop at one. What have you got? You've got cherries, so yeah, you must have stopped over here. Right there. Okay. You are... No, oh, you just did, and you're, you're leaving. Okay. So, we don't get to see them interacting with the gazebo. I've never actually seen anybody walk up to a chapel. And do we have a pathway yet? We do. So they do walk in here. They're coming in from the side, which is interesting. Nope. Nope. Just faked me out there. <laughs> Chickens, how you guys doing? Foods are good. Water is good. Yep. And over here. Uh, that one. Yep. Looks good. And I see we're into August. We are ripening still. Does that have to hit or is that... Yeah, ripening. Okay. So once the ripening finishes, they'll get going. Um, there is no delay. We should fire off all of the workers, all the laborers at the same time. Now we get to see a real test. Both farms competing for all of our freshly laid off people. That'll be interesting. You are doing what? Everybody's here so we don't lay this camp off in August and all the carts are in place. That means everybody's going home right now taking a rest. Okay. You're down to one. Uh, you are doing what? 3,300, 600 more coming from laborers that are suddenly available. This must still be load number two. That's pretty low. Then another charcoal and another limestone. You have left 7,300. Yeah, there's enough there. Let's see, 23. There's almost enough there to complete this whole run. I don't think we're going to have enough limestone left to do one more run. I don't think so. I think it's 10,000 left when we're done. And out of 15. Huh. I just may have to sit out there and pretend to be worked on. Okay, so you are here. You are almost there. Speed you up a bit. And let's see what happens between the two places. As soon as you trigger... Alright, boom. You triggered first. Refa again. Everything hit there there. Filling in at about the same rate. Three of them. <clears throat> Speed you back up. Five. Three. Six. Four. Okay. We're, I do have a limit here. We're at, coming up on, what's that, 12? 11? So we got five over here. It means everybody else will be available. Of course, there's still a distance issue. If people who were here grab that job first, we'll see. But there's still enough there to really get it going, and more than we've ever seen here before. So that's good. Uh, that's right, Marifa. Uh, just run it slow, and right there. I doubt there's anything that we need to sell to you, but let's just verify that. You will buy a little bit more salt. Okay, we could do that. Flour isn't worth the effort. Salt really isn't worth the effort too, but let's go ahead and do it. Was Marifa's list always this short? Feels like there was more available at one point. I wonder if this ever fluctuates beyond just the quantities. I don't know. It would be nice if this was a more dynamic market and, and different... Uh, products came and went but let's do the 454 salt deal and send that into here trading post salt nope oh, gotta click and child was born we're at 198 is that yep what no 
Yeah. Um, Got to do that. Okay, 454. That's going in. And how are we doing? Half done. We've got now six people plus the five that are threshing. Okay, we've got six people. All right, so you guys are still doing fine. Yep, I think we'll be okay. We've got two months still set up. I'm curious to see if we can pull it all off in, in August. So when these guys get finished and they are available, will they move over in enough quantity to finish? Although we are dealing only with two fields out of four. So we probably will still need September to finish this one if it was all three fields. When this season is done, I'm going to redo the order on this one so that it never aligns with this one again. So that we always have at least one field somewhere that requires no plowing and people can immediately get to work sowing in the spring. So this year they both lined up together and that wasn't good but you guys are going to wipe this out i do not have paradise gathering on good so we're just going to harvest same thing here yep so that's doing fine okay um i still haven't decided where to put more housing in i doubt i will this episode it's not that critical. I'm just letting you guys uh, listen in on my my brain fart here, <laughs> my, my my process of working through, thinking long term. I don't want to just start dropping houses because then we end up out of balance and end up with a crisis. So exclamation marks are you? You go away move you what are you an ashery and we're not really doing much we're just moving things you can jump into there okay and you are oxen okay you're no problem there you are not spinning <clears throat> you are because you started a a batch and didn't get to finish it okay so this one away good let's grab you and nope never mind let's get you made empty really make empty and no nails good so we have lots of laborers available so that won't take long at all and is that a bench no it's just a line okay and you're there do I need you immediately? Probably not. In fact, one thing I'd love to get done soon is this bridge. Love to see that one finish. So dairy, the ashery, the fulling mill. Oh, that was Marifa again. Okay. Fulling mill, you are the second one. You are the first one. Let's get you moved in as well. Though the orchard, well, the orchard can come in whenever it comes in. It's not critical. So we get one ash reed. Tanning batch spoiled due to lack of workers. What? I never had these guys on. How did we? Oh, these guys just started doing their thing. Ah, okay. My fault. I We went past 20 and they started uh, butchering. Okay, so you need to have three people on at all times, and that's not a thing, so we're just going to do that. Okay, so we lost some some uh, some leather there. Do we do these? I think we do not, which means we're going to need a new tannery soon. We are. I had a comment come in to warn me that sheep have smaller quantities than cows do. And as far as amount of leather per batch. And so making sheep line up with the cows with the same batch sizes is an issue. Maybe set batch sizes for 50 for the sheep. 
and just do sheep in a separate building to help make it work out. So another tannery is going to be needed if we're going to get this guy going. Where? I don't know. This slaughterhouse should be able to do both just fine. So, does he land in this circle? Does he feed out over here? Is that what goes here? Ah, I kind of like that. Tannery. And there's a reason for our cart shed. Okay. So, you're there if you'll let me. And I can't do that. No. So you're going to go there, although it just it feels kind of weird there, but if the fulling mill is here and the sheep are here and this is where we tan the sheep skins, then that does make sense. Okay, yeah, and it does kind of look like a barn-shaped building, so sure. Okay. Now, the blue is not the end of the building. That would look more aligned, and that would be more central... I like that. Okay. You're there, and you actually have to push up into here a little bit. So, you can be right there. You are another warehouse, which is going to be needed, too. It's all kind of putting part of the industry together. This already has all the materials there. So, once we get to this, it is going to bang, 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 and it'll be done. So, that's not a, not a big issue. Where am I at? 50-some minutes. Okay. Uh, thatchery is functioning just fine, and there's no thatch roofs in here. So we don't need to get that moved over quickly, other than just to see it in place. Where did you go? Right there. Ashery, the second fulling mill. So the thatchery would be before those. And the granary. So granary's not an issue just yet. It can even stay right back over there. All right. So we were doing the other... Well, we're waiting for this to go away. And that didn't happen. That surprises me. So many people available. Okay, so we are middle of September and we're almost done. And we've got only two people working. But at least they're still working. Did You guys didn't all go back to work, though. We're still doubled up on the, on the harvest. Yeah, August and September. I use this one as my base, but... Pretty much everything, except for some of the smaller places, matched it. So, did we... Yeah, August, September there. Uh, Limeworks, August, September. Yeah, most of them fit that pattern. Okay. So, there's still a lot of people not employed. So, how did that not get into the list yet? Know where to put it? No, they'll drop that into even a place like this. Just to get it put somewhere. So that's not a thing. Huh. Um, a child has been born right there, 199. So we're going to hit that 200 point without uh, putting another house in, I'm pretty sure. And when that happens, probably first of next episode, we'll be able to see the barber surgery and the tavern start to come to life. Um, so you're in the tannery. Kind of waiting for that to go away. Uh, we had talked about this and never got back to it. Because there's too many irons in the fire right now. You are... And I get feeling that way every time I run this on a faster speed. I feel like I'm missing everything. So, you guys, you look similar. Similar enough that... I don't know if I like it. Maybe you come in at a diagonal then. I don't know. I got to think about that one. I can't do that one in the couple of minutes that are left. I need to sit down and pause the game and just stare at it a while, place some fences and look at it and then figure it, tear it all apart and do it again, then tear it all apart. So that one I'm not sure about. Got this guy in here. Feels like we need a third building to even that out. Coming in straight. Diagonal. No, straight that way, that way. 
feel like we need the well the fence is gonna go straight and straight I don't know what happens here do we tap in and do that a diagonal down straight across to match this fence that seems right. Let's just do that real quick. Near this one. You're going to snap there. And Dukachi. So you... I need to alt. So I can come in. Boy, it's hard to tell straight. Yep. Yeah. Something like that. Let's just click it and leave it there so I can spin. See how that looks. Oh, I wish I could zoom in more. That actually got pretty close. Okay. And no reason to walk through here. I don't think so. And now I'm kind of not liking the chapel there. I'm thinking the chapel would have looked better sitting right here. Like that. I think it would have looked a lot better. I think so. I think I will make that move. You can go away and do it quickly. And we're going to move you into there. The fence, can, the, the arch can stay there. We'll kind of come in. It'll be there. And maybe this whole thing, including the gazebo all goes within the same fenced area. More of a community area, like a park with a chapel in it. Okay. You are an entrance. So the fence stays on this side and comes across. It comes out over here somewhere. Yeah, I need to build it, and then I need to tear it apart. <laughs> then I need to build it again. Finally, it will make sense. And unfortunately... This is the fence I'd like to... Yeah. So I want to replace this, these fences with this kind. So that they look the same when you come down the road here. Okay. So I've got a little homework in between episodes. I'll work on that make it look a lot better. Um, this still didn't leave. So I guess next episode we'll set a couple more chapels in. Or where are these things? Granaries. And the harvest came in successfully. We are near the end of September. And we're just finishing up the last of this. I think we're going to be fine. And then... We still have slots available, at least, for any other people that don't have jobs to spend the next month or two hauling all this stuff in. So that's going to be fine. And enough people... Anybody not arrived yet? Yeah, one, two... At least two have not arrived yet. They're going to do their rows. I'm sure others are going to pop in as these leave. So the harvest should come in just fine. You are being built. No, the materials are being delivered. You're being torn down. There we go. And almost finished. And then I'll get that repositioned and set to, uh, set to build for next time. Anything else that we talked about that I didn't get to finish... We are, oh, we're at 200. We made it. There must have been another baby I didn't see. So, need at least 200 population. So, I guess we're a little delayed. Maybe it, that means it needs 201. Anything happening here? Will I get a notice that a barber surgeon has moved in? I guess next time we'll find out. Um, you did fill up with firewood, good, and you are available, you are available, okay, how are you doing? Lots of logs, and low on firewood, but that's why there's now a 10,000 cushion over here, so I don't have to have you running as often and still have firewood in this area, okay, anything else we need to see? I don't think so. I think we're good. Yeah, nothing else is triggering my memory. Okay, then we'll call this one done here and we'll continue this uh, this, this rambling next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Catch you later. Bye-bye.